This is going to be an unboxing and a review of this uh, Tecno Wi-Fi router. Uh, this is the AX1800 and the model number is TR660. Uh, so just some highlights, it has uh, support mesh network and uh, advanced uh, WPA3 security. And then flipping it over, it has some of the product highlights, ultra fast transmission speed up to uh, 1775 uh, megabytes per second. Again, some of these things were on the front, there's a quick setup and then there's connection methods here, how to install it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So sliding out of the box here, uh, the first thing I see on the side here, this looks like the user's manual. It's like kind of like a packet here that you can open and you can flip through here. This is gonna be uh, very helpful when it comes to setting up and using this thing properly. And then there are some cords. It comes with an ethernet cable, which is very nice. I was wondering about that, but this just looks like the uh, power cord for it. You plug a side into an outlet and this side into the uh, router. But let's go ahead and take the uh, router out of the box right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, plastic wrapping off of it here. So yeah, my first impressions of this thing uh, after folding these things out, which are pretty neat as well, uh, is this thing is pretty small, about two the size of my hand. Uh, it's pretty sleek, looks very, very modern. Uh, it's not, most Wi-Fi routers are actually pretty ugly and you kind of have to hide them under a desk or something, but having this thing out front and center in your desk would honestly kind of make it look more modern and stuff like that. Uh, this has four LAN ports here, and then this is a WAN. I'm pretty sure these are all ethernet. I'm not sure exactly what they are. This is obviously the power port here, and then this is a reset button on the side. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in, fire it up and see how this thing works. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in. I have the other side plugged into an outlet. You just kind of put it on in here and you can see the uh, power button lights up green. There's a bunch of different LED lights right here. So the uh, the first one that's green right now is the power button. Uh, just indicates that it's on. And then the next one is system. The next one is WAN. The next one is 2.4 Wi-Fi and then 5G Wi-Fi. And then it's the little two arrows there are WPS or mesh. If it's blinking, WPS is on. And the last one is LAN. So basically a lot of them are lighting up green now, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug the ethernet cable into it. So as soon as I plug the ethernet cable into it, both of these start flashing. That's indicating that they are uh, transmitting Wi-Fi and internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you on my phone what they look like. So this is a setup process of the router. Uh, so basically you have to attach an ethernet cable to the router um, and then to your computer or PC or something like that. And you also have to have another ethernet cable running to the wall outlet or your other Wi-Fi router. Uh, so basically I'm just gonna walk through the setup process. So in the uh, instructions, uh, it gave you a uh, IP address that you type in your web browser and then go ahead and click start. So it says detecting your internet access it takes about five seconds. So you wanna make sure that this one right here is uh, selected in this uh, panel. And then you wanna go ahead and enter the uh, Wi-Fi or internet username and password that you are connected to currently. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So once that is connected, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click next. And this, this said it'll take about 20 seconds to set up the internet access mode. And then it'll go ahead and skip to step two. So it already came up. Uh, this is where you set up like your name and stuff like that of the router. You can make that anything you want, whether it's the name of your home or something funny. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. So once you have your name and password in there, you want, you want to make sure to click one of these. Um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and click save. So I decided just to name it something funny. But anyways, you can put it as your home name. You're going to want to go ahead and click complete. And then it's going to take you to something that looks like this screen right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and since it has no internet right now, and then go ahead and click reboot the router. Once you've set everything up and done it through the computer, you can go ahead and connect to it on any device you want to. Uh, so this is me connecting it through my phone. Uh, I'm gonna go to this uh, app that I have and basically it's doing a uh, download speed test and an upload speed test. So I'm gonna let you guys see the results, but overall I think this is a great router. Uh, it's very, very fast and uh, looks good in person, but uh, it's very reliable also. So I would give this a 10 out of 10.